G'day everyone. So this is my latest circuit board I've put together. Uh, it's a little game I'm calling Electronic Cricket. It's actually the second version of this. The first version was done on prototype board and it was a pain in the butt, had glitches, just because there's so much wiring. I mean, the wiring was a hot mess, but it looked pretty cool. And um, I built that probably about two or three years ago. So I've come a long way since then and I've been able to develop my own circuit boards and this one is fully inclusive so there's no wires or anything, everything's attached to the board. So double sided, you can see the components at the bottom there, a couple of um, drivers for the uh, seven segment displays, which are just here and then um, there's a 4017 decade counter for the game. It's pretty much two circuits in one uh, on one board. So the one circuit controls the scoreboard one circuit controls the uh, the game itself. Let's flick it on to reset the score. Um, you can just push the reset. Sometimes it doesn't work. Spider. Um, but you can also hold, run, and push reset if it doesn't work. There's two ways to control the LEDs. So if I hold my hold the button down here, you can see them moving quite fast, and you can also do a slow, just in case you keep on going out all the time. And there's two ways to go out. There's a bold and a court. And obviously there's a bunch of ways to make some runs. And there's also a little trimmer pot down here which you can increase the brightness of the LEDs. So we'll turn them up fully. See they're quite bright. I like to have it about halfway. Reduce the brightness a bit. So let's play a game. So all you need to do is hold this button down, release it, no ball and you hit your score, so no ball is a one. Well, that's sixer, so that's six runs. Another sixer. Two runs. Another two. Pretty good score so far, no outs. Boundary, which is four. One run. Another one. Another one. Uh, bold. So what I usually do is give myself three, uh, three wickets and I'm out. So I've got one wicket so far. Another boundary. My highest score is 40. 42 it was. So I'm 29. Another court. So I've got one more wicket left. No balls. One run. Boundary. Ooh, I might get my highest here. One run. Two. Three. Yes. I think I've hit my highest. I have. This is my best score. Do me. Wow. I've never been on, been on this. 50. And caught. So reset. You just hit the reset button. You start to zero again and you can play another game. If we put it on slow, it's a bit more predictable. So I can try and hit, like, let's see if I can hit six. Sixer. So it's a little bit more easier to play when it's on slow, um, but I prefer it on fast or random. So that's my electronic cricket game. If you want to get your own printed up, then I've provided the Gerber files in the description along with the Eagle files as well. So you can play around with the, the board or the schematic as, as you see fit. I've also done uh, an instructable on this as well. So a step-by-step -step guide, which you can find a link to in the description as well. Um, check it out and yeah, have fun and hope you enjoyed this little retro game.